Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to mention zoom style virtual background setup with media pipe in Python. But before we begin, please like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Please also make comments. Thank you for your all support in advance. Firstly, I'm going to import the media pipe library. If you haven't installed the library yet, then you are able to install it with pip install made the pipe command. This will install the library itself and its prerequisites as well. Similar to most of computer vision tasks, we are going to import OpenCV and matplotlib as well. And finally, this study requires NumPy dependency. Here I'm going to read the base image with opencv.imread command and here I'm going to pass the exact image name. We are able to plot this image with plt.imshow command. This illustration is in blue because opencv reads an image in the inverse order of the RGB. We can handle this like that. This is our base image and we are going to apply zoom style which background for this image. Now I need to read the background image as well. Background dash image is going to be opencv.imread and it's going to be white dash house dot jpeg let's print it as well this is going to be our virtual background let's check the resolution of the image and background as well there are different shaped images and we need to resize the background image to the same size of the base image. We can handle the resizing operation. What background image is equal to opencv dot resize. And here we are going to pass background image as input. And we are going to pass the expected size as tuple. And here I'm going to pass image dot shape and get its one index dimension then get at zero index dimension now we can check the shape of the background image and it's the same shaped image with the base image virtual background setup requires to use self segmentation module of the media pipe and it's available under the media pipe dot solutions dot self segmentation and let's set it to made the pipe selfie segmentation thereafter we are going to call made the pipe self segmentation dot self segmentation and let's see its input arguments it has model selection argument and its default value is zero and we don't have to set anything for this input argument and i'm going to set this line to self segmentation and as seen, media pipe uses TensorFlow light in the background. And if you import regular TensorFlow before the media pipe, then you would have some trouble. And finally, we can get the results with calling self segmentation dot process and pass input image as input argument. Background segmentation is available under results dot segmentation mask and let's set this to segmentation mask variable and let's check its shape and let's remember the shape of the base image they are same shaped images now let's see the content of the segmentation mask we are going to say that if the value of a pixel is greater than a threshold value, then it's going to be the selfie pixel. Otherwise, it's going to be a background pixel. We can 
check this condition condition is equal to numpy dot stack and here check segmentation mask for three dimensions this is the erase argument of the numpy dot stack function and we are going to set access argument to minus one we then check this as greater than a threshold value and let's set the threshold to 0 0.1 for example and let's check the content of the condition as i mentioned if a pixel value is less than a threshold value then it's going to be a background pixel we don't have to print the condition anymore or segmentation mask anymore let's set a constant color to the background i'm going to set a constant color to the background in this block output image is going to be numpy dot where and here we are going to pass the condition as input argument then image itself for the true pixels remember that true pixels are selfie uh, pixels and let's set the background color for the false pixels two five five and two one five and one is the color of the gold now we are able to plot the image plt dot show and pass output image as input argument as seen the original image has gray background but here we set golden background secondly let's set a virtual background I mean that I'm going to set the background image instead of the constant color. Let's remember the numpy dot where command. We set the image itself for the true pixels, whereas we set the constant golden color for the background pixels. Here we are going to set the background image instead of a constant color, and then we are going to show it. Estin White House is set in the virtual background in this image. We are also able to blur the background. We are going to blur the this virtual background applied image. That's why this is going to be my base image. Image is going to be output image dot copy then we are going to blur this image blur image is going to be open cv dot go swim blur and pass image as input and let's remember its input arguments k size is going to be for example 55 times 55 and then sigma is going to be zero then let's remember the numpy dot where commands Here we are going to pass image itself and blurred image. And we should pass red, green, blue image here. As seen background is blurred here but background uh, is not blurred in the base image we have applied zoom style virtual background with media pipe in python we also applied self segmentation and get rid of the background image in particular setting a constant color to the background is very important in facial recognition pipelines because in that way 
we can get it off the noise. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance and thank you all for watching and see you next time.